He's been the face of the Union of BC Indian Chiefs since 1998 and can often be spotted at local rallies, speaking passionately about First Nations rights and preserving BC's natural resources. Grand Chief Stuart Phillip is never short for words, appearing regularly on nightly newscasts as a powerful voice for BC's First Nations communities on the issues of the day. Some of his thoughts this week were about the Christie Clark government's announcement relating to the agreement in principle it had signed with energy giant Petronas. What, what was your sense of you know that announcement and you know the the space she gave First Nations within that as well? Well, I don't think there's much doubt that it was a grandiose photo op. Clearly, the intent of the photo op was to uh, calm the jitters of the investment community vis-a-vis -vis future LNG development in the province of British Columbia. I believe it's a well-established fact that the prospects of uh, multi-billion dollar LNG industry flourishing in British Columbia is sunsetting very, very quickly. That's not to say BC First Nations are against resource development. Quite the contrary, said Philip, as long as sustainability is front of mind. Unfortunately, the mindset of government, certainly the Harper government and the Clark government, it, it's very much a gold rush mentality. It's, it's very much uh, um, uh, very little, if any, consideration for the environment, for, uh, for the water and uh, or wild salmon and, and all marine life that um, our First Nations communities have depended on for countless generations. So it's, it's, it's um, an approach that is not sustainable and I think British Columbians are demanding a more responsible and sustainable approach to resource development. More than a talker, Philip backs his words up with action. Last November, he made headlines when he was arrested on Burnaby Mountain as part of the protests there against Kinder Morgan's proposed pipeline expansion. Part of my profile is, um, I believe, in leading by example. And I think it has set the bar. Um, I was um, a keynote speaker at the BC Federation of Labour Annual General Assembly the day before I was arrested. And during the course of my remarks, I said leaders have to do more than talk the talk. They have to be prepared to walk the walk. And at that point, I announced it was my intention to get arrested the following day. It was announced during the course of the BC Fed proceedings the following day. And, um, you know, there was this thunderous applause. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the first issue where the rubber will hit the road this summer in all likelihood will be the Site C Dam issue. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't help but believe that'll be the next place I get arrested. But I also think that um, I won't be alone, that there'll be a lot of other leaders and grassroots people that will um, also be arrested. Um, we're talking about the uh, complete destruction of their homes and mm -hmm. their land 